Hey guys, John from the John Muir Show here, and oh, it is your lucky day because we are not talking about just one prominent corrupt liberal today in this video. No, we are talking about two because they both had stories we just felt so compelled to discuss and we couldn't pick, so we thought we'd bring both of them to you. We'll go ahead and start with the disgraced former head of the FBI, one James Comey. So there's been all this talk as of late with the uh, House Judiciary Committee saying that, hey, they would like to have Mr. Comey come in and speak with them because they would like to get some answers uh, regarding uh, a couple of very important matters. Uh, the anti-Trump bias that led to the end of the Hillary email investigation, as well as the anti-Trump bias that led to the uh, opening of the probe into alleged Trump-Russia collusion, something that we know did not happen. Uh, yeah, they even uh, subpoenaed Mr. Comey, but uh, Mr. Comey decided to go to a judge and say, nope, I, I want this subpoena thrown right out. And then he uh, took to Twitter afterward to say, yeah, look at those Republicans on Capitol Hill. They're trying to make this uh, so it is a closed door testimony. Why don't we open this up for the public to see? Why don't we let the TV cameras in? So uh, is the reason that Jim Comey is saying that because oh, Jim Comey is just such an upstanding guy who cares so much about uh, a transparency and making sure the American people know everything that is going on, that everything's on the up and up like he's claiming? <laughs> Of course not. Of course that's not Jim Comey's point. See, what Jim Comey is trying to do is try and paint himself as some sort of a victim, his favorite thing to do, when in all actuality, Jim Comey is trying to shield his own behind. Because Jim Comey understands that if you have a uh, closed door meeting, oh yeah, then uh, lawmakers can get as much time as they want to talk to you. And uh, lawmakers can ensure that uh, all of their questions are answered without any time constraints. Uh, when you have an open door testimony though, every lawmaker is limited to five minutes. So there's a lot better chance that a lot of the information that could be very damning to Mr. Comey would not come out. And also if you watch the uh, testimony open door of uh, a former FBI employee named Peter Strzok, one of those texting anti-Trump lovebirds just a few months ago, uh, he would realize that there's a pretty good chance that the Democrat lawmakers present for the hearing will do the same exact thing that they did during the Strzok hearing and shield Comey like they shielded Strzok from any tough question that was being asked by any Republicans in the room, any legitimate questions that were being asked by the Republicans in the room. Right away, the Democrats just doing everything they could to fall on Strzok and make no mistake, they would do the same thing for Jim Comey and he knows it. It's shameful because Democrats, they don't actually want answers from James Comey. They don't want to actually learn about all of the anti-Trump liberal corruption that was going on at the top of the Obama intel agencies. They don't want to know about any of that because that doesn't fit their political narrative. Even though their job is supposed to be looking out for the well-being of this country and its people, Democrats don't care about that because their goal is just what is going to help us and our party. Oh yeah, and screw Trump. That's all they care about and it is absolutely pathetic. Jim Comey absolutely should be talking behind closed doors and he should have to answer every single question that any lawmaker, Republican or Democrat, on that panel has because quite frankly, the, uh, the, the lawmakers there, they deserve to know the answers and uh, we should be to a point where we can have all the information necessary to bring people like Jim Comey to justice for all of the uh, corrupt and criminal things that he did throughout his time uh, working uh, in the bureaucracy. And uh, also, like I said, we couldn't decide. So there's Jim Comey, there is also Hillary Rodham Clinton. She's been talking so much as she started her uh, world speaking tour with her husband, Bill Clinton, talking about how awful President Trump's response to the uh, journalist Jamal Khashoggi killing over in uh, Saudi Arabia, saying that, oh, President Trump's terrible. He's not properly condemning the Saudis. He should, he, he should rebuke the Saudis, make sure that they understand how angry we are at them. Well, you know what, there, there's been a lot of uh, non-profits in the United States of America that have said after this uh, Khashoggi murder, no, we, we will not accept money from Saudi Arabia. So, I mean, with Hillary Clinton, with how outraged she is about what's happened over in Saudi Arabia and that whole uh, Khashoggi incident, I'm sure that she's going to join right along and say, you know what, the Clinton Foundation, we will not accept any money from Saudi Arabia this state going forward because that would be horribly wrong and it's more important that we put our principles uh, above any future income, correct? You'd expect that to happen? <laughs> wrong once again because of course Hillary Clinton is nothing more than somebody who is a total hypocrite and somebody is so hungry for money that she does not care if it directly contradicts the quote-unquote values that she's trying to openly preach 
All she cares about is more money getting pumped into her and Bill's slush fund, so no, she will continue to accept donations from Saudi Arabia, and we will continue to call her out for her absolute hypocrisy. And that is all the time we have for this week. What a great week it was, and I hope you have an even better weekend. The John Muir Show, we're back on Monday, 8.40 a.m. on WTAQ, 9 a.m. WSAU, WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.